Uh, just uh, before we get started, how are you doing? How's your family? How are your friends? Thank you. Uh, well, lots of friends are in a uh, difficult situation, so uh, trying to trying to survive. Some of them fighting. Some of them, you know, the whole country fights for fights for uh, freedom and you know and survival. So essentially, that's that's how I'm doing. You predicted but that that Putin would take Ukraine before the war started. You said this is his obsession, and as long as he is alive, he would try to get his hands on Ukraine. Uh, despite the fact that we heard Russia continually denying plans to invade, uh, we now see this fully-fledged war, widespread attacks across your country. What do you think will stop Putin? Well, um, unless he's arrested for war crimes, and uh, uh, essentially what may stop him is just uh, running out of the resources because he is crossed, as, as somebody already in this air said, that he crossed all imaginable uh, red lines. He, he can do bombing of civilians, of children and so on. So uh, certainly nothing of moral kind stops him. So, uh, yeah, it's just like uh, it's just the fact that he loses. Uh, sanctions may, because uh, especially if he runs out of money, uh, and also the fact that he runs out of um, military capabilities. You know, uh, he already lost a lot of his people um, and, uh, and and equipment. And so if that continues, I mean, he will have nothing to, to fight with. But that's difficult. That's difficult because it's one of the largest armies in the world. So we are facing extremely hard challenge. American intelligence officials have estimated that Russian troop deaths are about 7,000 and that a staggering number of body bags are being sent into their ally country, yeah. Belarus. By all accounts, Ukraine is putting up a better resistance than anyone anticipated, given that it's fighting against a military that is much bigger and much better funded. What do you attribute this to? Well, first of all, motivation, because we are defending our home. And um, many Russians don't understand what they're actually doing there. So motivation is certainly uh, on our side. Uh, plus, we are much better prepared, much more effective. So actually, efficiency is it's, it's more important than numbers. Uh, and that sends a signal to all analysts who were saying that, you know, you need to compare military by numbers. Uh, no, that's not the case. You need to compare military by the uh, uh, by motivation and by skills and by efficiency and so on. But uh, also, uh, also they do some quite substantial command and control mistakes, and uh, essentially we, uh, we we try our best to uh, to fight them. And as you could see, in in many respects, it's it's just, it's it's we succeed more than they do for sure. Yeah, and it certainly seems like President Zelensky staying in the country has seemingly yeah. helped morale. Uh, he, of course, of course. Is, yeah. Do you, do you want to respond to your view of how people see him in the country? Because he, he obviously has spoken to uh, parliaments around the world in the, in the past few days. He has an absolute support of people, uh, higher than ever before. And uh, people, people admire his courage and his, uh, his vision. Uh, we certainly don't have any other choice but to fight. We certainly don't have any other choice but to fight for, you know, and defend ourselves because Putin decided that a country like Ukraine shouldn't exist anymore. And that is in 21st century in Europe. Just somebody decides and sends uh, hundreds of thousands of troops to, to our country just to kill our people. So a uh, president demonstrates a huge, uh, you know, resolution and, and courage himself. And obviously he inspires lots of people around pretty much everybody.